zile nguo zote wazungu wanavaa wakichoka nazo zinaletwa nchi kama hapa Kenya nyingi zao hazifai kabisa na nitaka zingine tunazivaa miezi kidogo ama hata miaka lakini mwishowe zinakuwa taka vile vile hii inamaanisha taka zote za nguo kutoka Ulaya zinakuja huku Kenya na nchi zingine za Afrika hii ni ukoloni mambo leo juu tunatumia pesa nyingi kuhakikisha hizi taka za nguo zimeenda kwa dump sites zetu kama ya kwa mfano hapa Gioto na zingine Kenya kama Dandora mingi zinachomwa na kuharibu mazingira zingine zinatupwa kwa mito yetu hii ni hujuma kutoka kwa nchi za Ulaya this secret transboundary trade of waste plastic clothing which is fueled by the growing production of cheap synthetic clothing should be illegal under the Basel Convention. Instead, recycling companies in the EU and the UK are using legal loopholes to export into Kenya millions of plastic clothing every year that are either too dirty or damaged to be reused or are culturally and climate inappropriate, creating serious environmental and health problems for the vulnerable communities and overburdening the Kenyan taxpayer with waste management costs for this rubbish clothing. The findings from the report include of the 148 million items of used clothing shipped directly from the European Union and the United Kingdom to Kenya in 2021, up to one in three contain plastic, such as nylon and polyester, and are such of a low quality that they are immediately dumped or used as industrial rugs in Kenyan factories or are openly incinerated or burned. According to 2021 customs data that we looked at, Baltic textile trading, the owners of Think Twice secondhand clothing shops and Humana control 32% of all secondhand clothing imported into Kenya from the EU and the UK. They brought into Kenya around 160 40 foot containers. On average, one truck every two days, all in second grade. These imports came mostly from Germany. Our investigation found out that Germany, with about 41%, is the leading exporter of secondhand clothing from Europe to Kenya, followed by Poland, about 24%, UK, 23%, Hungary, 3%, Italy, 2%, Belgium, 1%, almost 2%, Lithuania, 1%, Estonia, about a percent, France, about a percent, Ireland, below a percent, and this account to 95% of all second-hand clothing exports from the EU to Kenya. The total value of these exports was found to be 26 million USD or US dollars. Following the release of this report, we are asking the European Union and the United Kingdom to issue a statement explaining why they continue to allow plastic waste disguised as secondhand clothing to be secretly exported into Kenya in contravention of the Basel Convention on the Transboundary Transportation of Plastic Waste. While overburdening the Kenyan taxpayer, we are also asking the Kenyan government to issue a statement on this secret importation of plastic waste into the country. Especially after making significant steps in the last few years to deal with the menace of plastic waste. The first recommendation is that 
the EU and UK should encourage the use of non-toxic circular materials and introduce eco-design measures in the fashion industry. Additionally, regulations that govern sorting of used clothing to eliminate waste exports should be strengthened. The EU and UK should set up an extended producer responsibility scheme for different types of textiles. Additionally, this scheme, or the EPR scheme, must ensure that fees paid by producers to the producer responsibility organizations in Europe and the UK benefit and are distributed among those managing and carrying the burden of the end of life management of fashion in the global south, including here in Kenya. It should be clearly defined which actors in the import countries are eligible to benefit from the revenues generated by the eco-moderated fees. <laughs> Well, the ball,